My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable two-year-old little boy. On our channel, you'll find simple and tasty dinners using everyday ingredients. So for dinner tonight, we grilled out. So um, Howard grilled this chicken sausage. It is from Aldi. It's a spinach and feta chicken sausage. And then he also grilled these um, these hot dogs, beef hot dogs. And here is Howard's plate. So he's got a chicken sausage, regular hot sausage with ketchup. And then he also grilled some corn um, on the grill. And then I just made some Kraft macaroni and cheese, just the stuff in the blue box. And then here are the rest of the hot dogs and chicken sausage. Here is my plate, I'm having a hot dog with mustard. I'm just having half of a chicken sausage. Um, some macaroni and cheese and grilled corn. On my grilled corn, I have butter, salt and pepper, and Howard just has butter on his. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. So I am trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. This is from a Southern Living cookbook, an old one, creamy tomato soup. Let me show you the cover. This is what it looks like, quick and easy recipes. I think this is from the 90s. And all it calls for is evaporated milk, tomato soup, and Italian stewed tomatoes, which I have right here. It also calls for you to add in some shredded cheddar cheese to the soup mixture and let it melt. I'm not gonna do that. And it calls for you to garnish with um, some cooked bacon, which I'm not gonna garnish the soup with bacon either. I don't know, I just like my tomato soup vegetarian. But anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I've got my Dutch oven here on a medium flame and I just dropped in the Italian stewed tomatoes. Now the recipe calls for you to keep these tomatoes whole, um, but I am going to use my immersion blender once I have everything in the pot because I prefer a smoother tomato soup. It also doesn't call for any seasoning, but I'm gonna add um, probably, a, um, a, I'm gonna taste it and see if I need any salt or garlic powder or anything like that. So I'm adding in the tomato soup now. And next, I'm going to add in, in the evaporated milk. I'm just gonna let this warm up a little bit and then I'm gonna use my immersion blender on it. Okay, so my soup is nice and warmed through. I did taste it, I added a little bit of salt. It's kinda sweet from the tomato soup. Okay, so here's the soup. We tasted it, we both like it. it. There is a little bit of sweetness to it. I can't remember if I mentioned, I did add some salt to it and that's the only thing that I added. And then I'm serving it with cheesy breadsticks. Um, I've been doing this for years. We like to dunk them in that tomato soup instead of having grilled cheese sandwiches. And these are the cheesy breadsticks from Aldi. I really like these a lot. Again, I've been buying these for years and here is what they look like. Let me try to pull one out in case you've never seen one. So this is what they look like. I baked them on 425 for about um, 15 minutes and here they are, really delicious. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, we are having grilled burgers. So I made some baked beans and I did record a dinner video a while back ago showing how I made my baked beans and I'll link that in the description box, but this is Howard's plate. And uh, we're also having some grilled corn and then the burger of course with white cheddar cheese. He does not like his bun toasted. So um, he just added some Thousand Island dressing on his burger. No avocado because it's not ripe. And then this is my plate. Um, I like my bun toasted and I just added a little bit of mustard and I've got corn on the cob with uh, butter, salt and pepper. And then um, we are trying out this um, buttery burger blend for the first time. Um, and I have this one and I thought the ingredients were the same, but they're not. The burger blend is a little bit different than this buttery steakhouse blend, but this is just a single serve package and it seasons one pound of meat. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. 
So I'm trying out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is creamed chicken and I'm gonna be serving mine over biscuits, but of course you could serve it over rice or mashed potatoes, but you need four cups of cooked chicken and I have this in my freezer. I just keep cooked chicken on hand for quick meals like this. You need some cream of chicken soup, half and half. Uh, you need chicken broth, but I'm gonna be using bouillon, and you're gonna need flour and butter. So I've already got my, um, my butter melting in the pan, and I'm gonna add that flour and make a roux. Okay, so in my saucepan, I've got the butter and flour, and as you can see, it's gotten brown. I also added some salt and pepper to it as well. Now I'm getting ready to add in my half and half. and my bouillon. I'm adding my water in first. Now I'm gonna add in my bouillon and my cream of chicken soup. And I'm just gonna let this um, all come together and thicken up a little bit. Okay, so my mixture has thickened up and now I'm just going to add in my cooked chicken, give it a good stir and let it all come together. Okay, so here's dinner and Howard and I tasted it and it is really, really good. I will say that the directions called for yellow food coloring. I did not add that. I really don't think that it needs it, but it's totally up to you. Again, serve mine over some biscuits. These are just refrigerated Pillsbury bris uh, biscuits that I'm using. And like I said, you could serve it over rice, you could serve it over mashed potatoes. That's Harrison you hear in the background, he's playing with the toy. And then I'm just serving this with some canned green beans that I doctored up with butter and I just seasoned them up a little bit. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. So for dinner tonight, I'm gonna to be using up some stuff from our produce drawer. I am going to make some chicken teriyaki and I'm going to use these yakisoba noodles. I've used uh, these noodles before on our channel, but it comes with the noodles and then it also comes with sauce. I've got some mushrooms that need to be used. Gonna chop those up, gonna chop up these green onions and also use this cabbage. And in my freezer, I have probably like a half a bag of this grilled chicken that I've thawed out. So um, I'll get started. So here's our chicken lo mein, lots of veggies and chicken. This is such an easy dish to throw together. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time.